Right, welcome back to part two of our visual building um, tutorial. Uh, in this part we're going to show you how to label the 2D plan. So we just select the room, that was a single click, double click on the room and I can have a, uh, this was the study, I can actually type in the room name and then type in the dimensions, it's 12 foot 6 inches by 9 foot 8 inches and then say OK. We can also type in, in alternative measurements, again double click that, for instance if I want to also put in the metric I can put that is in 3.81 meters by, I think that's 2.94. So you can actually put in both um, imperial and metric if you wish. In fact, you can put any text you wish in the room, descriptive, um, floor area, and what I will do now is add all of the other rooms. I'll fast forward so you won't uh, waste your time watching me type in uh, 10 different room names. Right, that was all my room names quickly edited. Um, one of the other things we can do is dimension these rooms. Uh, so we have a dimension tool here and we've again we can select whether we're going to dimension in uh, metric or feet and let's choose metric and we just click on the room edge now remember because we actually drew our uh, room to a scale this actually automatically uh, brings in the uh, actual measured measurement again here again if I want to show that in uh, metric uh, sorry, feet and inches. Change that to feet. And now if I do the same, I have 12 foot 6, which yes is 12 foot 6, and 17 foot 6. Now we can also change the, the style of the uh, arrows here. Um, if I just use that select and double click on the arrow I can actually change the, the different uh, arrow end into circle slash whatever um, I can also change the appearance of the line uh, in fact all details about the dimension line I can change and then actually save as a default the other major feature is that if I haven't drawn this to scale and for instance this isn't 17 foot 6 or I want to actually change this value here because it's too exact I can actually um, just select the auto text off here and go into there and actually type in 5.4 and this dimension automatically changes so you can actually disconnect the automatic um, measurement system if you haven't drawn a scale drawing. And uh, another useful feature, let's use this room here, is if I double click on this room and go into uh, labeling, I can actually select, I want to show the floor area. Um, I can actually type in uh, area equals all my own text. Um, there's also room volumes, living area. So if you're under a roof, and obviously not the entire uh, roof space uh, is livable. So if I say OK here, and you can see the the area is actually automatically calculated. Um, obviously, I've selected the, the metric system for that uh, calculation but it will come up under feet and inches 
I can also turn off all of the text in one file swoop just go to visibility and just say room labeling off and it all goes and the same with the, the dimension lines you can switch off dimension lines um, or I can just do control Z several times which undoes everything it gives me a nice clean plan to create the second floor we have to go to the projects and select build in our current floor is the ground floor and we say new floor above and we just uh, transfer everything that we, we've got floor layout, doors, windows, it's a lot and we've now got a second floor and if I switch on my 3D I can prove that by looking there's a now a second floor there everything has been transferred uh, obviously um, I don't want the doors and windows um, so what, what I'll do is minimize that window so you can see exactly what I'm doing in the, the 3D model as I edit the uh, 2D model there's the three mod 3D model and I'm on my second floor and zoom in and I just delete just select the door and delete it the door there is the door underneath so if we delete uh, hide the uh, ground floor that disappears and obviously we don't need a front door there and we can also delete the, the various um, rooms and doors in fact what I'm going to do is delete all of the, the doors because the upstairs um, floor space is, uh, room layout is different but if it was identical you'll be okay because you can just continue another door to delete so last door and I don't need the stairs going up there are no stairs in the attic widen that, zoom in on there and so placing the uh, floor in the second floor is exactly how we, we did it in the uh, first floor which we used this wall and so I can now add my walls and put some measurements in for instance this is 9 foot 8 click on the reference point 9 foot 10 9 foot 8 sorry 9 foot 8 inches and we can plug in our wall Again, control W to snap to the wall. In fact, what I'm going to do now is put in the entire upper floor as we did in the first um, demonstration and skip forward to inserting all the doors and windows for the second floor. So, after a bit of fast forwarding, here we are with our uh, second floor completely labelled up and I can also um, show my ground floor again um, oh it's down here isn't it so we open that up and we can look at all the views by range vertical so again we've got uh, both our views um, if I want to have a look at the 3D view, there's the 3D view. So I'm now going to show you how to save this as a PDF file or a JPEG. Um, obviously we want to use these plans in a brochure or as an online. So here we can do is use this tool here is save as a viewer's picture. So we select this view, select save as picture and just simply 
click this select the picture image style you want uh, JPEG PNG or bitmap name the file say OK and that will save your image and you have to do the same for the second floor and that will then save a JPEG of the second floor sorry that's the first floor that's the second floor and you can then use the JPEGs in any other software you wish so there's several ways you can get the um, plan onto your brochure or website as, as a um, JPEG, PNG or bitmap or as a separate PDF file. Uh, the PDF file uh, export tool is available on our website. It's called PDF Creator. It's a third-party product and it's free and it's excellent.